What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RonSmartTech.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you about quantum computers. Yes, quantum computers are here and it's freaking mind-blowing that uh, we've come so far. Now, before I can talk about quantum computers, I need to explain to you what a more conventional computer can do. A conventional computer can be your phone, the, your smart TV, your desktop computer, your laptop, your iPad, whatever. That's a more conventional computer and we've had this technology for decades now. Now, what's improved with this technology is uh, the transistors, the number of transistors that we can have in a chip, right? Now, the way transistors work, they're switches that allow current to come through or electrons to come through. If a uh, switch is off, it has a zero state. And if the switch is on, it's letting uh, one state. So one is zero, one on, zero off. This is called binary or bits. This is the basis of computing from the beginning, right? The, if you have two bits, you can have four states. It could be zero, zero, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. And these are the only states these two bits can have. This has been the basis of uh, computing since the beginning for decades. Now, there's something called Moore's Law. And Moore's Law states that every two years, the number of transistors are going to double. Now, we've reached a point where transistors have become as small as atoms. We eventually are gonna reach a point where we can't make a transistor any smaller. I think the average transistor now is like 14 nanometers. We can only go down to like five nanometers where this won't work anymore. And we will, won't expand in that technology. And we will hit a roadblock and we can't go any further. Now, here comes quantum computing. Now the way quantum computing works is uh, you also have a state of zero and one, right? But these are called qubits. Qubits are uh, zeros and ones. But before they are zero and ones, they're in a state of superposition. Now superposition means that these qubits can either be a zero or a one at the same time. Mind blowing, right? How can something be zero or one at the same time? That's impossible. But here comes quantum physics. Quantum physics states that if something is at a superposition, right? Let's say a, a electron, uh, it can either be a zero or one. The only way we will know what position it is is by observing it. If you view it or try to measure it or test it, then it'll reveal its uh, position. If nothing is viewing it, it's gonna stay at superposition. It, it could be either zero or one at the same time. That's freaking mind blowing. And we've come this far in, in technology and we're starting to uh, create these type of circuits. Another thing that's mind blowing with quantum computing is something called entanglement. Let's say you have an electron, right? Or you have two electrons together and if they are entangled, they could be at whatever distance apart, whatever you do to one will affect the other. This thing is going to change and revolutionize the way we program and the way microchips work and it's going to take us to that next level and I'm, I'm eager to see what we uh, do with this technology and I'm eager to see the first computer program that comes out of this. Now let's talk about more of the conventional logic first before we get into the quantum logic. Now the way more conventional logic work or binary logic works is uh, you have transistors that create logic gates. These logic gates I'll, I'll have two uh, inputs, right? Two bits, and it'll output something depending on what kind of logic gate it is. And it's always gonna be the same depending again on the logic gate. The way that quantum gates or Q gates or whatever you wanna call it work, is they take a uh, they take a bit or, or a byte, a qubit, right? And it's superposition. They take it in, they, they flip it, and they uh, produce another uh, superposition. And, mind-blowing. Uh, hopefully you guys kind of get what I'm talking about, but this is going to revolutionize again the way everything works. Now, quantum computers will be able to uh, help us do things faster. Now, quantum computers are more vastly superior than our ordinary computers today. The power of a quantum computer is going to allow us to find like cures for cancer and diseases. It's going to allow us to uh, simulate the universe and the galaxy. It's going to allow us to create artificial intelligence that we can program stuff of the, of the future, you know, the stuff you see in sci-fi, stuff you think will never ever happen. It's actually happening today. And I'm excited to be alive today where quantum computing is just coming out. And I'm gonna be so eager to uh, create a quantum program. Are you excited about quantum computers? Let me know in the comments below. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmartTech.com and thank you for watching.
Oh, 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 oh,